Welcome, in front of me is a ZTE Blade A73 and today I will show you how you can hard reset this device through recovery mode. Now with that being said, uh, doing so will also allow you to get rid of a screen lock. Now if you have one set that you don't know, this will get rid of it, though I do warn you that if you also have a Google account, uh, once the actual process is finished and you go into the setup process, you will be forced to verify either the Google account or the screen lock that was previously utilized on the device. And without it, you wouldn't be able to finish up the setup. So just a heads up. In any case, uh, no matter if you have a screen lock that you know or don't know, you can hold your power button. Select power off and wait for the phone to turn off. Once that happens, you want to hold your power button and volume down at the same time. Now, for some reason on this device, it's not really like quick. So we might need to hold it for like half a minute. I guess we'll see in a second. I do want to give it like decent 10 seconds after it turns off, just so I'm absolutely certain that it is off. And we can now hold buttons. I am gonna grab it in a more comfortable way. So I'm holding power button and volume down. And you will see that nothing is happening. So I'm gonna just kind of hold it for another like five seconds, maybe 10. And I'm gonna now let go of the power button, but I am still holding volume down. Now, that being said, getting into recovery mode here is pretty finicky, but I think it's gonna work now. As you can see, it takes it a really long time. There we go. So compared to other devices, this is like really long without any kind of sign of doing anything. So just be prepared for that. Anyway, once you're in this mode, you can use volume buttons to navigate in order to select wipe data, factory reset, confirm it with the power button and select factory data reset. And at the bottom, you'll see formatting data. And next thing you should see is data wipe complete. And the reboot system now will be selected by default. So press power button once again to initiate a reboot. Now, the device is still continuing the reset in the background, so it will take it a little bit longer to boot back up. Don't worry, that is completely normal. Once the reset is finished, we will be then presented with Android setup screen. So I'll be back once that is visible for me. And as you can see, the process is now finished. You can set up your device however you like. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.